I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my overview for your Aquarius for the week of March the 21st. So there's a lot of activity happening around you. So let's have a let's have a look at that. We do have a lunar eclipse this week. Uh, it is in your solar ninth house. It's a great time to reevaluate how you're spending your time. What what's actually happening in the way of education what are you allowing to enter your mind what programs are you watching uh, what are you reading do you want to take on some further education at the moment and what are your interests in that uh, level um, so uh, that's a great time to do that it's also a fabulous time to start thinking about what's not needed in your life so you know just the, to clear your life out, clear the clutter out, that opens the space up to invite something more productive into your life. So it's a, I always think a full moon, particularly a lunar eclipse full moon, um, is a good time to do some spring cleaning. After all, it is spring, uh, you know, that's if you're, depending on what side of the world you're, you're living. Um, so keep that in mind. Also travel could be uh, in your stars at the moment as well and certainly an opportunity to broaden your vision and work in different markets or with different cultures um, does also give you a the ability to say what's on your mind okay so be be quite candid uh, which you know is always a nice thing as well but uh, you know try not to be brutally honest um, that ninth house area can you know do that sometimes all right, so let's have a look at what else is happening. We've got uh, Mars and Saturn sitting in your area of friends and social events. Um, we do have two favorable aspects coming of Mars this week. It's in your area of communication. There could be some urgency for you to get things done and decide things. Um, you know, that's great, but don't allow anyone to force you into doing anything before you're ready either, okay? So uh, you want to, you know, you want to keep control in that, in that sense. Uh, you know, but sometimes you got to just go with the flow too. So, you know, you're the only one that can decide that. Now, there is a, a very favorable aspect between um, Venus and uh, Pluto. Venus is in your solar second house. This is an area of love. Uh, Ven well, Venus governs love and money. The second house is an area of uh, money and possessions and very much how you feel about it. And with the connection with Pluto, it's really an opportunity now to, you know, get down to what is your attitude about money and what is your attitude about attracting what you want in life and because Pluto helps you to sort of get down to the emotional side of blocks like what what's really blocking you from moving forward and having exactly what you want in life uh, now try to spend some time alone and you know over this week if you can so particularly if that energy of the full the full moon and the connection between Venus and Pluto. This is a great time to get some like some of those Oprah and Oprah is a, a Aquarius Aquarian as you probably know um, 29th of February and it's a great time to get some of those aha moments you know I love that. Um, so and once you do that you can really release you know release some blocks but what to be able to do that you've really got to get in touch with it feel it and release it okay. Uh, so this is good. Now, of course, the week's not void of challenges. It never is, is it? But um, there's nothing you, you know, you can't overcome there. Um, you want to be a little bit careful of uh, friends and money. And uh, if there's a situation from the past that's come up again, you know, deal with it. All right. So once you deal with it, then it opens the door for, uh, for other things. So, yeah. All right, love and luck to you. I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching.